Just one comment. Clearly, I've never been there, but this feels like we're in the center of hell. It's a remarkable experience to be here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, the night sky again lit up uh, with beautiful red and orange tracers and uh, white flashes again as air bursts continue to come, probably from the anti-aircraft guns, from all we can tell. And all around us now, we hear explosions, big explosions at great distances away from our location. As Secretary Weinberger was mentioning in his interview just now, Peter, they are not apparently the America, the Allies, the uh, coalition forces are not targeting civilian targets uh, apparently at all. And all the anti-aircraft fire, and we see more of it to the south right now, going straight up, seems to be very far from the center of town. Well, right in front of me, John, who I, I guess the north, I see a series of surface to air missiles being fired up. They look like that to me. They're going straight in the sky. Who knows what they're aiming at? I pre they're aimed at the attacking force, but there were about five were launched just uh, within seconds of each other. Yeah, they're gonna boom, 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 boom. They just right. went right, right up there, right into the end, end, end of the sky. Right, and it's, uh, uh, we'll have to tell you again, uh, and for our, our families who are listening to our broadcast now, uh, all of this is happening very far away from where we are. It's nighttime, so everything is brightly illuminated, but you should know that uh, for, for the present time anyway, we're safe, and uh, all the action is very visible to us, but it's very far away from us. Betty Shaw. Oh, I'm just crawling around on the floor. I just checked the other side of the hotel, and it's repetition of what we're seeing before our very eyes right now. More anti-aircraft fire, uh, what appears to be giant sparklers flashing, and then going dark, a strange of uh, tracer fire.